Hi friends, what's a Armstrong number? Take the number 153. In this number, you let's take this a three digit number, let's take the cube of each of the digits. 1, it is 1. For a 5, 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5, it is 125. For 3, it is 27. When you add up these three numbers, it became the same as 153. So, 153 is a Armstrong number. Now, let's say what happened if it is a four digit number. That time, we will take the power of 4 of each digit and add it up. If it is equal to the original number, then it is Armstrong number. Now, let us code it and see how many Armstrong numbers are there. We will ask the user to enter a number. So, let us say n is our variable input, enter 1 3 digit number. So, user will enter this number, fine. Now, let us initialize the sum, sum equal to 0. Uh, all the inputs are by default are the string. So, will n is a string even though the user has might have entered an integer also. So, we will say for i in range 0 starting from 0 till len a. Len a means it will tell that how many digits is suppose I enter 100 then len n will be 3. If I enter 1000 then the len n will be 4. So, len is the length of the uh, string because n is a string, it is not a number now. So, we will inside this loop, we will say sum, sum equal to sum plus POW. POW is the power of number. So, whatever it will take two inputs. Let us the first input it integer n i. Why I am using int here, integer function here? Because as we are told that n is the string now. So, its first position is 0 position and the for loop will vary from 0 to suppose if it is a 100 it is entered. So, the for loop will vary from 0, 1, 2. So, n position first digit is n i or n 0, next is n 1, next is n 2. So, in that that is why I am, I am converting it to integer and using it. Now, what is the power of it? Because I want it is a 3 digit number, I will give it as 3. Fine. Now, I am getting the sum of the uh, power of the numbers. Now, let us for our understanding, let us print the sum is sum of the sum of cube, cube of digit. Fine, let us print this one as sum here. This is for our learning or nothing, it is for our understanding if. Now, we will say if sum equal to integer n. The same logic why I am using the integer function is n is a string here. Input all inputs are string by default. So, let us print it. This is an arm strong number. For our reference, let us keep our n here. Sorry, here the comma should be else print this is not an Armstrong number. Fine, let us again print the n. Now, we can run this code and see it will I should ask for the user input. Now, just wait. This Armstrong number it is uh, cube we are printing. Yeah, let us say I am going with a 167. Sum of the cube is 560. This is not an Armstrong number. It has told then what is an Armstrong number. Let me just try 153. 153. Yeah, this is an Armstrong number. Let me try one more. Let us say 370. Yeah, this is the Armstrong number. Now, once more 371. This is an Armstrong number. Okay, two things come out in this. One is why the user should enter three digit, it can there any number it can enter. So, we have to dynamically read the number of digit and use it. That will try. Copied the same code and pasted it here. This code will modify. 
enter number enter a number more than say 9 more than 9 fine so we want a two digit number the sum equal to 0 fine we will say that we will define one number k equal to len n so because n is a string so by using len n we are getting the number of digits and the uh, user entered number so here we will change it to 0 to we no need to uh, again use len k we will directly use k here because already we have stored it now this variable value also this uh, power power we will take it k no need to take it 3 again so rest of the things are same we can go we ahead with our checking let's check a number we'll say 407 407 fine 407 is a is an armstrong number now let's check it again we'll go for another number 500 say it is not an armstrong number let's go for a four digit number we'll check it now 1634 1634 ah this is an armstrong number one more also we'll go we'll go 9474 99474 this is an armstrong number okay now next we'll learn um, we'll let us print all the armstrong numbers between a range we'll paste the same code here we'll change we'll not take the user input rather we'll use a for loop to loop through a range for n in uh, range let's start from 10 and end with uh, 10,000 or yes 10,000 remove this we will say that increase this range or change whatever you want now here we will now have to maintain the indent because inside the for loop the, all this data are so if now this else also print fine now here the sum is there now after this sum we will take the uh, now n is no more a string it is a it's a integer now so we have to convert it to string now my str is equal to str now n now here we'll get k len of n instead of that we'll take my str because we are now it's a for loop so n value is a integer to get the digits from the string value if we know we can get it from a string so first we'll convert it to a string that's what we are doing at line number three and line number four we are finding out how many digits are there or what's the value of k and subsequently we are using k now here in, in here it's no more n now here it is string so my str my str i and k so this should some this is no more required because every time it will print uh, some of the cube of the digits this is an Armstrong number else part also will remove it the reason is there are many numbers which are not Armstrong numbers so it will clutter the entire thing and it will print all every number only will print what are the Armstrong numbers within this range now let's see how it works yeah these are all the Armstrong numbers 9 4 up to up to we have got have gone up to 10,000 10, now say up to one more zero we'll add and see how many we are getting this is the one okay so many are there fine so this is how we'll get the armstrong numbers over a range